<laughs> I got a, I got a preset. Um, yeah, I, just I, uh, I'm sorry, brother. Just to back up what Elder Tar yeah, said, yeah, yeah, just building what he said. Uh, this is uh, the book of Luke 12, 31 and 32. It says, "But rather seek ye the kingdom of the heavenly Father." Like Elder Tar said, man, we 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 live in day by day, man. We're not trying to get no uh, cathedral. We're not trying to. Build man, you gotta start waiting for the ancestors. They ain't coming yeah. back, man. Yeah. The ancestors ain't coming back. Yeah, we're not. The ancestors are you, your ancestor coming back, man. Ain't nobody floating up in the sky trying to help your ass. That's it. <laughs> yeah, stuff. Not trying to build that's a spooky. No, well, that's spooky. Yep. 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 Yeah, we're not trying to build an economic base in America. America is through, man. It's finished. You can't you read the handwriting on the wall? They can't even open up the the, the 125th Street Mart. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, man. Exactly. So so this is what the Lord said. This is found in the book of Luke 21. I'm sorry, Luke 12, 31 to 32. But rather seek ye the kingdom of the heavenly Father, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock. It's talking about Israel, Israelites. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. All right? That's what we're talking about, man, the kingdom. Now, in the kingdom, we're going to have slaves. Now, that, that con that's a wild, like, like this guy used to say, George Gordon, that's a wild new concept for you, you so-called Negroes, man. You, you Mexicans, you, not just you Negroes, you Mexicans, you Puerto Ricans. That's a, you Puerto Ricans. You Cubans. That's a wild new concept for your kingdom. Slaves. Well, that's what the Heavenly Father's talking about, well, man. Well, these guys, these guys don't have a ruling class mentality, man. Right. You know? Anyway, I got a quick scripture. Uh, this is uh, Zephaniah for you Moors. You, because you claim, and I heard many of you say it many a times, that the, 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 the Moors go back to the Moabites. Well, if you are Moors or Moabites, then guess what? You're going to be our slaves. All right? It says, uh, Zephaniah 2 and 9, it said, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai of hosts, the most high, the power of Israel. Surely Moab shall be as Sodom, and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah. Even, even the breeding, even the breeding of nettles and salt pits and a perpetual desolation. Perpetual means everlasting. The residue of my people, which are the Israelites, shall spoil them, the Moabites, and the remnant of my people, Israel, shall possess them. The word possess. Look up the word possess. So y'all got y'all better get with the program, man. Y'all ain't y'all are not Moabites, all right? Like I said, Mo Moors had no, there's no connection between the Moors and the Moabites. All right. I, I, I just precept in real quick. Isaiah forty two and twelve. What we want to do? We going into scriptures. Where we we want to go into some of these documents and some of these books because y'all like books, right? <laughs> and let me just precept real quick, if I may. Uh, Isaiah forty two and twelve, and I will show the mercies unto you, that He may have mercy upon you and cause you to return to your own land. Right now, you niggas. Uh, Israel, you don't want to return to your own land, which, like other Tahar said, really coming back to being who you are, putting on your face, right? That's the Most High trying to using us to try to bring you to your own land, to as being an Israelite. We're trying to put the face back on you, man. Pursuant to uh, Ezekiel thirty-seven, yeah. man. Continent now thirteen verse. But if ye say <laughs> we will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your power, saying no. But we will go into the land of Egypt, where he shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread, and there will we dwell. <laughs> see? That's you niggas, man. So basically, we're telling you to come out of America. America going to be destroyed. Hell going to break loose. It's going to be famines. Things are going to start happening. Nah, man. We're going to stay here in America. You know, we got cable TV. We got the technology. We got a smartphone. All this other bullshit we can debate. And bullshit, we'll buy land, all that other crap y'all talking about. Yeah, you got these guys buying land and stuff. Why are you gonna buy land when America's getting ready to be destroyed by a thermonuclear uh, 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 holocaust, man? By the by the Russians. You see what's happening now? Now the the Cold War is back, right? Now Barack Obama tried to threaten 
the uh, Russians to, from coming into uh, uh, crime, crime meeting in the Ukraine. Um, and you know what? Putin wasn't hearing that, man. He just went ahead and did it, man. He said, go ahead and let my man talk his bullshit. I'm doing shit. He's talking. I'm doing shit. And you know what? They did what they did. They got the military in there, man. And what did Barack Obama do? Oh, we're going to have more sanctions against him. Putin made Barack Obama look like a bitch. He, bi he called bitch you, man. He called bitch you. Because normally when something happens and another country doesn't do, not, do anything that the... Uh, do something uh, contrary to, to to what America says. The the U.S. troops they'll they'll go up in there and they'll bust them up. You ain't doing that in Ukraine, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the situation with Georgia, Russia, all right, which were formerly part of Russian uh, the the, U the, the 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 Russian Federation. You didn't do nothing then. So Putin already sees that you a bitch ass, uh, uh, Barack Obama. Okay, <laughs> and then you got this guy, Doctor. Uh, Phil Phil Valentine talking about uh, 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 this guy Barack Obama is uh, Malcolm X's illegitimate son and shit like that. First of all, Barack Obama doesn't have the spirit of a Malcolm X. Malcolm X was a fighter, man. He'll fight to the death, man. That uh, 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 Barack Obama is a goddamn certified whip. Okay. You got some. Hey, hold on, this last verse is bad. It backs up. Uh, hey, hold on, Barack, um, uh, Malcolm X's daughter. The one that kind of looked like Malcolm X, yeah. she got more of a rougher uh, masculine spirit than Barack Obama, oh, man. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Gun. Okay, gun. You you clowns in the black consciousness community, man. We man, you guys, we're gonna constantly, we're gonna continue to expose the bullshit. We're gonna be up on your videos, and we're gonna continue. And plus, it's a good thing because these other Israelite groups they get a break. Okay, <laughs> they get breaks. Hey, well, shit, she trying to have uh, Farrakhan uh, uh, whacked, man. Yeah. Back in the night, she she had so much a vengeance. She about vengeance, man. She tried to hire a damn hitman back in the nineties to uh, whack Farrakhan for killing her father, man. But uh, I'm gonna yeah, be hey, like Barack. Come on, yeah, Phil. Man, come, come on, on Phil. Man. Come on, man. Come on, come on. <laughs> Cut it out, dog. You know, <laughs> Barack Obama is Malcolm X's son. Get the hell out of here, man. Niggas just make shit up. Man. Sound crazy. Come on, man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Nigga, please. This is the 15th verse, right? Because this goes into what we're saying. You niggas don't want to come out of Egypt. So this is what the Most High going to do to you, man. Right? Uh, well, this is two quick verses. And and now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah. Because it's mostly you Negroes that's into that <laughs> co comedic crap. Thus saith the Lord, power of hosts, the power of Israel. If ye wholly set your face, your faces, your faces... To enter into Egypt and go to sojourn there. Then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye feared shall overtake you. And there in the land of Egypt and the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt. And there ye shall die. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the most high got that's all so that scripture is for all you comedic black unconscious negroes man you guys want to keep that face of being comedic more you want to have debates you want to stay here and buy land and do all that stupid shit keep on doing that man because this is what's going to happen to you man throughout uh, by the spirit of Yehovah as we're telling you man because we're the prophets of the Lord you gonna die? You yeah, y'all don't know what's going on. You don't know what move next move Esau gonna make. You you don't even know what the white man's Esau, man. You know? Yeah. Do, do you don't know nothing, man?